it's like the local community. It's not people who are sitting in Delhi. People sitting in Delhi are just making, just taking decisions. It's the community which is staying around the forests, which conserves, which is there to save the tigers and the animals and the rest of the forest. You know, so whatever decisions that are taken here are perhaps not, they are important, but till the time the local community is not gainfully engaged <coughs> in something, till the time, why would they want to conserve something if that thing harms them? Like Mr. Sain was talking about elephants going and raiding the crops or the herbivores, you know, going and finishing the crops just about when it's ready for harvest. They would not mind it if they were uh, to start to get some money to conserve it. So they realize, all right, you know, we've got few things in this forest and if the tourists come to see it, we get direct benefit out of it. Let's conserve it. If they were not directly benefiting from it, they would be caring much less. And that is exactly what was happening about 20, 25 years back. Today, you would notice there are so many resorts around a national park. There are so many uh, homestays which are also coming up. Uh, but as I said, responsible tourism. I mean, there needs to be certain standards for the kind of resorts which come up in terms of what is the kind of carbon and water footprints that they have on the environment. It shouldn't be that just to engage or just to you know promote tourism, you demolish the environment. No, that is where the balance is important, and that is where the tourism is a double-edged sword. You know, there has to be a body which says, okay, we need to have a balance here, and. Only when the locals get money straight into their pockets and instant. It's not that they have to wait for two years for the money to come in from somewhere. That they would benefit if the, if the government of India has passed the plan and it's in the budget and the money would flow in <coughs> one year, two years down the line. No, tourism gives you instant money. So their dependence on the biomass is reduced. If they get money, they can go and buy LPG gas. They can go and procure raw materials from outside. They don't have to enter the forest to pick on wood. They don't have to go into the forest to pick the fruits or the roots, you know, for various things. So if they get money, they prefer to buy it from outside. And why should they risk their lives going into the forest? They know that the forest has tigers. They know that the forest has elephants. So it is a risk when they're going in. So they are also happier if they are engaged gainfully outside the national park. So that's where tourism, I think, plays a very important role. It's a very important conservation tool.